everyone, you're watching Coastal Living. Now, obviously art has been a fundamental part of our community, even during the most difficult social and economic times. I'm talking about the pandemic, Hurricane Harvey. I think it even made artists thrive even more and, and become even more creative. It's really been a unifying force, all types of the arts, right? It brings people together and most importantly, it fosters innovation and creativity, which we all have a little bit of some way, somehow. Today, we're going to share a few ways to help support local artists in our very own community. Take it away, Jocelyn. Oh, yes, Clarissa, this is so important. And I'm a huge fan of all artists, especially my dad. I have to give him a special shout out. He is my favorite artist, but we also have a lot of good ones here in our community. So we have to remind you that attending art walk, art galleries or museums regularly is a major way to support the arts and Clarissa and I, as a matter of fact, you know, she said earlier in the show that Hispanic Heritage Month is over, but we discovered some pretty incredible art at the Art Center recently. And oh my goodness, we were just stunned at how beautiful and colorful it was and so unique. So just simply by visiting the Art Center, Art Museum, and like I said, the Art Walk is huge. And especially here in the Coastal Bend, it's amazing. Yeah. These artists are so talented. Big time. And it's funny because you, I remember you asking, are these artists from Corpus? And I said, there's no way we would know if there were people like this in Corpus. And it turns out there are two students, art students from TAMU CC. So Amazing. not a local, but they're just students. Imagine like where the, that's going to go. So on that note, you can also support by commissioning art from a local artist or just buying some of their merchandise. So commissioning means that you actually contract them out to create a specific piece of art for you. Maybe something that you want to gift to somebody or something that looks like what they already created, but has your own little twist, makes it kind of personal. Um, or you can buy some of their merchandise. So a lot of these artists end up doing prints, they do t-shirts, they do uh, keychains and things like that with their art to duplicate it and to make a little money off of that. This is a fantastic way to support artists and you know, you're literally a walking billboard for them as well. So it's free advertisement for them to, uh, to expose to the rest of the community. So that's a really great way to showcase their passion. Yes, Clarissa, it certainly is. And you can also just provide the artist with a good review. I know that means everything to them. And us just giving a, a special shout out to those sisters from a and Corpus Christi. I know that means a lot to them. And you can also do that. I mean, after receiving your commission piece, don't forget to leave a good review. Like I said, be honest and share how much you love that piece of art. It will greatly help our local artists. There's just so many here in the Coastal Bend. You can't help but to love them all. Yes, I absolutely love that. And then also, you know, like I said, we're not limited to just painting and drawing and the type of art you can see in a museum. You can support art in a theater. You can support art with the music, um, you know, public performances and stuff like that. The art of dance. And then we have a lot of really cool murals around town and it takes an artist to create one of those. So if you're out taking Instagram selfies in public and you find a cool mural and you post it on social media, Take the time to just note who the artist is, tag them, give them a hashtag or something. You could even go on a mural tour, which, you know, if we're on to something Corpus Christi, we might need to get going. Um, but just support your favorite local artists and make sure that you're always doing your best to tag them and give people credit where credit is due. Oh yes, Clarissa, you are certainly right. And like you said earlier, there's so many different forms of art that we can always appreciate. Um, so you can always take an art class from these local artists. Many artists teach art classes online, schools and universities as another way to support themselves. So you can get in touch with your favorite local artists, take a class and discover your artistic talents. And I actually have to give a special little shout out to Wild Veggie, Veggie Bouquet because I would say that's a very unique um, form of art. She's so talented and she also has her own classes. And um, I don't know that I'll ever be as wonderful um, as a uh, florist as she is, but she provides those classes that can help people like me. And uh, like I said, it's a beautiful form of art and there's so many other classes you could take other than that one too. <laughs> Absolutely. And if your kids want to join, there's art classes in the summertime and actually all year long. So support that as well. Get the the kids started young. Everyone has some sort of creativity in them. You just have to find out what it is. Last but not least, buy a local museum membership. Honestly, a membership to anything in the Coastal Bend is going to support the cause, but you can purchase a museum or arts institution membership for yourself 
so you can get closer to the artists. As Jocelyn mentioned earlier, we were greatly surprised and impressed with what we saw at the Art Center and it had just been too long since we had gone by there. So this is a perfect way to provide unlimited access and support to your favorite art exhibitions. Again, make sure that you're tagging those artists and tagging the venues as well. Most importantly, share, 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 share all your favorite artists work on social media. Most of the time they're posting this artwork on social media to gain publicity. So all you gotta do is share it in your story. It's a click of a button, guys. It's that simple. Let's all have each other's backs and support local art.